Hello, everybody. Uh, we've had some requests for this week's Q&A. And I'll just get started on these requests. Starting with fall 20, test one, the student didn't indicate which exam they wanted done, morning or evening, so I just picked the morning one. We're supposed to do in part two, Lewis structures, uh, Redox will cover next week. 2A, we're supposed to give the most stable Lewis structure for the following H2PO4 negative. So H2PO4 negative, we'll just put it down here. Dihydrogen phosphate, if you're curious as to its name. Valence electrons, each hydrogen brings in one in. There's two hydrogens. I'm getting this straight from the periodic table, the Roman numerals at the top of the columns. Phosphorus, group five oxygen group six and there's four of them and anion has one extra valence electron if it has a minus one charge total here two seven plus 24 is 31 32 no calculators reminder no calculators when you're said and done you better have 32 i'm going to verify my number since i didn't have a calculator go from the back here one plus 24 is 25 32 good skeleton we're not putting oxygen in the middle if we ever if, if it's at all possible to not and it is especially when you have p uh please don't do this as per my last q a video the h the H's are not attached to the P. This is another example of an oxy acid where H's are listed first, some element listed second, and then a bunch of oxygens third. The H's are both on individual oxygens. This P is surrounded by four oxygens. That's how you avoid making oxygen-oxygen bonds, which we must do if at all possible. And you just pick two of the oxygens to connect an H2. And there's your skeleton. In the skeleton, each bond you drew used two electrons. So you have used two, four, let's do it from the left here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 32 minus 12 electrons coming up with 24, uh, oops, 20 more. Got to be careful here. 20, I put lone pairs on the outside till the octets are full. There's six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And you might think you're done to think that would be an error because in the formal charges and the structure you just drew, which I'm gonna copy paste first. You don't have to do this on the test. I'm only gonna grade your final answer. But when you do the formal charges as, as per our last Q&A video, if you haven't seen it yet, then please watch them in order. You get a minus here, you get a plus here, you get a minus here. You can get rid of two of those formal charges by simply sharing one of the anion lone pairs with the phosphorus. You pick which one you want. Uh, bottom is just as good as top. Take off a pair of electrons, put it back on as a pi bond. You got rid of the formal charge here and here. Uh, phosphorus owns five electrons when it shares 10. One, two, three, four, five bonds. Is, it's uh, sharing 10 is owning five. Uh, the only charge left is this. This is your final answer. Worthy of a highlighter. Nice big highlighter. So, Professor? Yes. Hassan, how are you? So, good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So we, so we could skip the whole part on the left yes. and only draw the right side. That's all I. That's care like our about. final. Answer. That's your final answer. Yes. Okay. As a teacher, I like going and step by step. And then, so we wouldn't have to draw the beginning formal charges. 
I'm sorry, say it oh, again. Okay. I, I interrupted you. Sorry. And then, so the, the three formal charges on the left, we can just, since there's a positive and the minus, we can just get rid of those two. And since they cancel out, right. and then just do the normal bond and then leave one formal charge on. I'd like to say what you said is 100% correct, but I do want to point out a slight variation on this. It's a molecule mm -hmm. that doesn't really exist, but if you're in the same family as uh, phosphorus, but you're putting a nitrogen here, this is just an aside, you would not be able to do what we did earlier. I'm changing that to a nitrogen because nitrogen cannot go past eight electrons being in the second row of the periodic table. So you couldn't make that look like this. You'd have an octet violation on nitrogen and you know you're not allowed to do that. So just an aside here, uh, this would be the end of this one. Although I'm, I'm just pointing out right now that this molecule is like a unicorn, it doesn't exist. Probably for the reasons that this one does, you, you can get rid of all those charges. This one has too many to exist. But you see what I'm trying to say? Okay. When, yeah. you're, when you're in the so third row, third row or lower, you can go beyond the octet rule to lower your formal charges. Nitrogen's in the second oh. row. It can't do that. Phosphorus is in the third row. It can go beyond the octet rule, which is what we did, right? Okay. Yeah. So what I'm probably going to do now that I can edit things is uh, make that the end of our first segment right there. And then we'll go with the big one for uh, 